I have been buying a lot of books recently, which is good and bad. Bad because I don't need any more books. Like I have over 100 physical books that I haven't read and I keep buying more. But for the sake of my happiness and well-being, I'm going to keep buying them. So, <laughs> I have a bunch of books that I want to show you guys that I've bought over the past, like, month or two. There's, like, some that are still in boxes and then some that are open that I bought at the bookstore. These are books I actually am going to read, though. Hold me to that. I'm actually going to read these. Like, before these go into my never-ending TBR stack that, honestly, once it's in there, it's like a black hole. Like, I don't know if I'll ever get to it. I'm leaving these out and I'm actually going to read them. I'm telling myself that. I'm telling myself I'm actually going to read these so they're not a waste of money. Not that ever buying books is a waste of money, but you know, like, it, once it goes in that pile, who knows how many years it's going to take before I get to it. Let's get into the book haul. I'll start with some of the ones that I haven't opened yet because that's the most exciting. This one I didn't open. I think my parents did or someone did because I looked in, there's a book, but I don't know what it is. So we're going to find out together. Um, I'm so happy it's this one because it's the one I want to read the most and I think I'm going to read it right after I finish filming this video. This is Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood and I saw one singular quote on Instagram from this book and I was like, mmm, add to cart buy instantly. It's the same author as The Love Hypothesis and I think it's also another like woman in STEM romance. Not that I understand anything about science or math or engineering or any of that, but I support a girl boss and I like Love Hypothesis and everyone was saying that this book is better. So I'll be the judge of that. Very excited about that. Also, if you guys have read any of these books, give me your opinions and if it's worth reading these. Next book is The American Roommate Experiment, which I bought this when I was in England because my friend Ellie told me to read it and I started it and I immediately stopped because I was not in the mood for it because very quickly realized that this is like the quirky, awkward girl trope, which is my least favorite trope in the entire world. Something about like the secondhand embarrassment that like the quirky girl gives me. Not even like I need all my girls to be like cool girls. Like I support all girls until they do something so fucking embarrassing that I have to close the book and like put it away and like deep breathe to calm myself down. Like that's what happened in this book. Like it was just so painfully embarrassing and like the first like chapter, two chapters that I stopped and was like, okay, I'll come back to that at a different time because I don't want to deal with that right now. So please tell me if it gets better because I, I, it was unbearable. I loved, loved, loved the Spanish love deception and this is the second book in that series. So I was hoping maybe I could get over it. So maybe I'll like listen to the audiobook. Usually audiobooks with the quirky girl trope are like less painful because I can just put it in like two times speed. So maybe I'll do that, but please let me know if it's worth it because I tried. I started reading on the plane and I was literally getting like, my face was red. I was like breaking a sweat. I was like, this is fucking embarrassing. I need to stop. Next book in the unopened pile, even though this is opened, is The Last Letter by Rebecca Yaros. And she wrote, did she write The Fourth Wing? I think she wrote The Fourth Wing, but this is a different genre. Obviously it's not fantasy, Um, but this was sent to me. Oh yeah, she wrote The Fourth Wing is right there, which The Fourth Wing is one of my favorite books of the year. Entangled Publishing actually sent me this, which I love them. They're the best. They always send me like the best arcs. They sent me The Fourth Wing when it first came out. This is As Seen on TikTok. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. I think it's Brother's Best Friend, except the brother passed away, left a note to his best friend being like, if I pass away, I need you to go take care of my sister. I need you to go be there for her and help her. She's all alone taking care of my two kids, I think. That's what I gather from the back is like he passes away, she gets custody of his two children, and now she has to take care of them on her own. And so the best friend finds this letter being like, oh, now I have to go help her. Something like that, which sounds so up my street. If it's anything like the writing of The Fourth Wing, which was just so captivating, I can't wait to read this. So I will actually read this soon. Okay, next we have a box, which is always exciting, from Amazon, which means I ordered it. <laughs> okay, sometimes this Amazon tape is so easy to open and sometimes it's literally impossible. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited. There's two books in here. First one I already read. I read this on my phone, Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. Brother's Best Friend, Small Town Romance, Cowboy and Cowgirl. It made me want to put my boots on and go ride a horse. I love this one. If you like the Chestnut Spring series, this is similar vibes. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a series as well. And I can't wait for the rest of it because it was so good. I think I gave it four and a half stars or four stars or something like that. Super cute. Okay, next. This was one of the books I also bought from seeing one quote. And that's Next to You by Hannah Bonham Young. I think there's two books by her in this haul, hopefully, if they came. This is the second book in a series, but I didn't order the first one. I only ordered the second one because I only saw a quote from the second one one and the first one didn't really intrigue me as much but they can be read as standalones so I'm excited to read this it's a friends to lovers I think that's what I got from the one single quote I saw that made me buy it which I love friends to lovers if it's done right so we'll see probably gonna also read this soon you know what? I'm probably gonna say that about every single one that I'm not gonna read any of them soon so I'm gonna stop saying that the next books I have a few here that I already did a video on these ones but I wanted to include them because I just bought them um I read only dark romance for a week if you watch that video then you know what I read but 
if you haven't watched it it's spoiler free so you could go watch it but i read only dark romance and these are some of them that i bought so i bought haunting adeline which was traumatizing but addicting this one i've seen everyone talking about it for like the past year and haven't read the second one i only bought the first one um because i heard the second one is even worse like in a darker darker way so i'm still feeling that out but i bought that and then i bought the first three books in the dark first series and i read all of these i gave the first two five stars and this one three stars but i'm going to finish the series these are just the only three i currently own so once i get my hands on the other two i will be finishing it but i loved the first two these are mafia dark romance but like not super dark like they're still like an actual romance and they, you can tell they like each other like the next one i'm so excited about because i think it's a pr package and it says ks so i'm assuming it's from Kai Stevens. Oh wait, there's like gifts in here. Is there even a book? Oh yeah, there is a book. Oh my god, this is so cute. Okay, wait, let's open this together. There's a candle. Wait, that smells so good and clean. Annotating pencils and a bookmark. Cute. Oh, tabs that match the book. The trade. College sports football captain, ex-student journalist. Annoyance to lovers. She falls first, he falls harder. Opposites attract okay that sounds good oh my god there's some other stuff in here okay wait let me get to the book cute it's the first book in a series kai stevens wrote springtide which i really really liked so i can't wait to start another series by her i need to read the rest of the springtide whatever that series because this is a whole different series but so excited that looks so cute i bought these in barnes and noble um because i saw them and i was like you know what i actually do want to read that so bad and it's the entire heartstopper series i love this show it's probably one of my new favorite shows of all time definitely a comfort show probably my most rewatched show of all time <laughs> Which is so random for me because I feel like it's not a typically the kind of show I like being more young adult vibes But I ate up every sec. I watched the first season when it came out last year Obviously and then I watched the second season when it came out this year I was obsessed last year, but I was even more obsessed this year like when season two came out I rewatched season one and season two back to back like for two weeks straight I just kept rewatching the seasons because they're so short and easy and then I was like I need to know what's gonna happen next and I know there's books so I bought all four and I read them all in the same day because they're graphic novels so like they have pictures and words so it's like a comic and I read all of them I think a fifth one is coming out soon which I'm so excited about but I just love Heartstopper so much like nothing brings me more joy than watching Heartstopper like I truly truly believe that like it's my new comfort thing I'm so happy i got the books because now i kind of know what's gonna happen next season the show follows these books so well like every single scene in heartstopper is like a direct screen grab from the comic which i think is so cool and i love being able to compare them and i just love this universe so much i can't wait for the fifth book but i bought those at barnes noble amazon package that i haven't opened oh Yay, I'm so excited about this one too. This is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. I bought this one because it was giving me fall vibes. It's about a witch, I think. So it's like kind of fantasy. Is that the right genre? I don't really know. I think she's a witch. He's a librarian at the school she's teaching at. And I was like, you know what? That sounds something I would enjoy for fall. And I think I'm going to do a autumn book recommendations as it turns into fall coming up soon. And so I've been trying to stock up on a few fall romances before I make that video. So I think I'm going to read this one and I'll let you guys know if I recommend it in that video. But yeah, it seems super cute. I've never really read anything like that with like a witch. It could give Harry Potter. I'm excited to find out. Okay, next we have another box. Oh, this is a big and heavy one. Ow. 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 Oh, this has three books in it. Right on top, I see Out on a Limb. This is the other Hannah Bonham Young book I bought. I'm very excited to read this, even though I heard the trope is accidental pregnancy, which is not my favorite. But you know what? I'm gonna give it a chance based on what I've heard about it. Then I got The Wrong Mr. Right by Stephanie Archer. I've never read a book by this author before and I know this is the second book in a series but I heard they can be read as standalones and I read the synopsis of each of the books and this one sounded the most exciting to me it's like good girl works in a bookstore has no life experience and then I think reformed playboy like he falls for the good girl in a small town I think they have like a deal where he's helping her practice dating and then I don't really know what she's doing for him but that's all I know about it so far. And I love practice dating books. It reminds me of Practice Makes Perfect and The Blind Side, which I loved. So I can't wait to see this. Cause like something about the jealousy and like practicing and helping them like be more comfortable dating and then seeing them actually use those skills in the real world. And then the guy gets super, super jealous and then they have like an angry love confession and it's just beautiful. So I'm excited to read that. And I might end up reading the rest of the series if I really enjoy it. I am so excited about this. This is Shucked by Kate Canterbury. I don't know why it's called that. Oh, are those oysters? You shuck an oyster, right? 
I could just be sounding super dumb, but I'm assuming because there's oysters like in the background and it's called shucked. Is he literally shucking an oyster on the cover? I don't know what is going on here, but I heard that this is a companion novel to In a Jam. It just came out. Like I ordered this the day, I think I pre-ordered this because I saw one person mention that it is a companion to In a Jam and I gave In a Jam five stars. It was one of my favorite books of last year. And it's like all set in a, the same small town. This is best friend's brother, age gap, but like age gap done right. Like I think she's in her late twenties and grumpy sunshine. And I just am so excited to read this. I think I'm probably actually read this right away. I'm saying that too much. Okay, I'm so excited. I hope that the characters from In a Jam get to make a little appearance. I think this is the first book in a series that she's starting called The Low Brothers. It takes place in the same small town in Rhode Island as In a Jam, which I loved. So I have a feeling I'll really love this. I love Brother's Best Friend, like forbidden kind of trope. So I'm very excited. Then these are two books I bought like a little while ago, but I don't think I've shown on my channel yet. So I decided to include them in the haul. Um, the new Elsie Silver book. This isn't new anymore, but like the most recent one, which is Reckless. I bought this. I read this already and I just got the physical copy. I love this series with everything in me. It's probably one of my favorite series of all time, Chestnut Springs. The new book Hopeless is coming out in a month and I'm so excited. I wish I could get my hands on an arc. I don't know if anyone has an arc yet, but if I saw someone with an arc of this book, I would literally pay them my life savings to read it because I love this series so much and I'm so excited for the next book that's coming out. But yeah, this one was really good too and I love this series. And then I have A Long Time Coming by Megan Quinn, which is a companion novel to A Not So Meet Cute, which I loved A Not So Meet Cute. I read this on my phone right after. It's the third book. I skipped the second one because everyone said the second one was bad. So I read the first and the third. I liked both of them. This one was definitely not as good as A Not So Meet Cute in my opinion, but still cute. Friends to lovers, a lot of jealousy, and I wanted a physical copy of it. Even though I like high key hate the cover. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the guy from TikTok who does like Damon Salvatore audios. Does anyone know what I'm talking about from like 2020? That's the last book. Is that the last book? That is the last book. I have so many good ones that I'm so excited about and so many ones I've already read that I left my whole heart and soul. And this was a very successful haul and I'm gonna go add them to this stack of overflowing books. Believe it or not, those books are in a box. Actually, they're in a bin waiting for me to move. And I have five of those bins. And this one is overflowing so much that you can't even tell it's in a bin anymore. So I don't know where I'm gonna put these. And it's probably not good timing to buy them right before I move but whatever. I love buying books. Buying books is a hobby, so I'm gonna keep buying books. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the haul, and stay tuned for autumn book recommendations coming soon. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always, and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye!